Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about screen recording on Wayland. This is one of the difficult elements of Wayland that still does not work all that well most of the time, but it is getting better as many things do. Of course, as the new Ubuntu version is right around the corner, 2104 release is going to once again release with Wayland as the default, not because it is perfect and they're not making any bones about that, but because they need to release it now to iron out the bugs, to iron out the kinks, because Wayland will be the, it is at least planned to be the primary compositor in the next LTS. And so getting Wayland to work, a lot of people really want to get Wayland to work. A lot of people already want to use and already do use Wayland. But one of the challenges in a content creator standpoint, at least, is that screen recording sometimes still doesn't work because yeah, the X server is much better at managing all those things under the hood. And so, of course, the best uh, B-roll system that I use, simple screen recorder, does not work on Wayland. And so there is a new one called Kuha. And we are going to have a look at Kuha in the daily build for Ubuntu 2104. And so what I did here is I created a new VM and I did this one on just the minimal install so that it didn't have all the extra stuff involved. I installed on it the uh, MVP, MPV player so that I could play something and test how it works. And uh, I do have another microphone passing through to it. So there is another microphone that is plugged in down here. So it will be able to pick up my voice. And I installed the GNOME Software Center just to get a nice and easy GUI for flat packs because Kuha is available as a flat pack. I also installed Simple Screen Recorder for the purpose of testing. So let's go ahead and show you the biggest challenge that we have. Uh, first and foremost, let's go into our uh, system information. So if we want to view information about our system, we can see that we are running uh, We are running this and the windowing system is set to Wayland. And so this is the daily build for 2104. So you can see we are here on Wayland. So we'll start with simple screen recorder. And when we first boot it up, it gives us this. You're using a non-X Windows system, which currently is not supported. Several features will most likely not work properly. In order to solve this, you should log out and choose X11, X org session at the login screen. So you do have that option if you want to keep using simple screen recorder. Log out, log back in under X, grab your B-roll, log back out, log back in. But if you want to stay on Wayland, there is another solution. Nevertheless, we'll go ahead and walk through the simple screen recorder setup. Down here you can see I've selected the microphone on my C920. Not always the best for doing video, but hey, right now my good microphone is tied up right here. So with that, hopefully we're using the good microphone. Yes, we are. All right, so over here we're recording the entire screen. We're recording the audio, and when you come back through, see your preview, this is the problem. We have a black box with the mouse cursors in there. So if I go ahead and hit my start recording, here we are. We're recording with simple screen recorder, blah, 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 blah. All right, so there we have it. We'll go ahead and hit our uh, pause recording, hit our save recording, and uh, we'll just kind of show you that. Of course, by default, if you didn't change any of the settings, that's going to drop it into the video directory. So here we have it. Go ahead and hit my start recording. And here we are. We're recording with simple screen recorder. All right. So there we are. So you can see it records. It records the mouse. It doesn't record the desktop. We do get audio. So, hey, that's good news. So now we'll go ahead and start up Kuha. So Kuha is very simple. You can go with the full screen mode or you can do a record session mode. So if you do this, you just kind of select the part you want to record. It gives you this beep and then now it's going to be recording just the part of the screen that you're on. We don't have any other indication on that. I believe Simple Screen Recorder can also do that. Here's the full screen and then these guys here, this will record desktop audio or not. This will record the active microphone or not. This will record the mouse cursor or not. So down here you can see you can set a delay. None, five or 10 seconds. We can hit the video format, WebM or MKV. We can set the save to. 
And that's pretty much all we have. I guess as far as pulling out your microphone, it's probably going to pull whatever the default system microphone is. So there's no individual settings to do that. But if you just pull up your settings, if I can remember where it is, then uh, somewhere in here we'll have the option to choose what our microphone is. So over here, here's you can see our input is pulling this in. So no other settings over here, but you can pull it directly from your software center there. You can see it's picking it up from that microphone. There's a few other microphone systems there as well, but uh, none of those are active. And then this, of course, is the desktop audio. So toggling it on... Um, this toggles it on, this toggles it off. I did notice that it is picking up that little beep. That's presumably because the microphone is picking up. But let's go ahead and hit another full screen recording with the mouse capture. So here we are. We are on Wayland. Now, what you might need to do, same thing we did on Simple Screen Recorder, and um, minimize this guy. I can't do it by clicking over there, I guess. So there you go. Minimize that guy. Now we can see I'll we'll have our mouse going over here. And you can pull this guy back up hit stop and it will automatically save so let's go ahead and have a look at what we got <clears throat> so we recorded two of those this one's the first one which is just the Hold long on. you want to portion. record it gives you this beep and then now it's going to be recording just the part of the screen that you're on we don't have any other in okay and then this is the full screen one here sure so here we are, we are on Wayland. Now what you might need to do is the same thing we did on Simple Screen Recorder. And... Okay, so there we have it. There is how we can record it. So this is, I don't know if this is in any repositories. I did not see it in the repositories. I did not see it in Snap, but it is available as a flat pack. Now, the original article, I, it might have been it's FOSS or something. Wherever I first saw this originally, they said uh, they couldn't get the audio to record. I was able to get it to record just fine. So that works out just fine. So you will need to install Flatpak support. If you do not already have Flatpak support on your system, go ahead and get that installed so that you can go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and run um, run this. And what I did, you could do it with the terminal. Uh, just install the Flatpak, add the repo, and then install it. It's available on Flathub. What I did is just for the GUI cases, I just installed the the GNOME Software Center on it, and then I you know, just went ahead and installed the um, see the GNOME Software Center, and then I went ahead and did also the um, uh, just the plugin for the GNOME Software Center for Flatpak, and then I needed to add the repo, and then there it is. So any any distro that's going to support Flatpak out of the box is going to have this available. So if you are needing to collect B-roll on Wayland, that is a great application. Again, it is called Kuha, K-O-O-H-A. So far, I've tested around a little bit here. Works great, and this is actually just on a on a VM, on in a, a beta version of Ubuntu, actually a pre-beta version of Ubuntu. So there we have it, guys. If you are needing B-roll uh, screen recording or other forms of screen recording on Wayland, definitely look at Kuha. It will be available on FlatHub in the Flatpak repositories. So with that, thanks for watching, guys. You can uh, have a look at the links in the description down below. Help support the channel with those. And we will see you next time. I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.